you say you're in the shadow of the rows over Savile and payoffs. On payoffs, looking back now, do you think the departing executives were too greedy or the BBT Trust too generous? I think, uh, looking back at it, uh, the BBC, we've got to get one thing clear. The BBC agreed these payoffs, and as I've said in a variety of places, um, uh, we lost the plot. I think it was a different culture, a different time. What I'm outlining today is a BBC which is about the things that the public want from us, programmes and services which are original and great, but also done in a way where licence fee payers, our owners, feel we're spending their money in the right and appropriate ways. But how can the public be confident, to use your words, that the BBC Trust Chairman is serving them rather than the public serving the BBC, uh, when, according to MPs, he's failed to represent licence fee payers over the payoffs? Well, um, all I can say to you, that is, uh, the Chairman and myself are having conversations about uh, how we take our relationship between the BBC and the BBC Trust forward, how we're clearer about things, how we learn from what's happened over the last year and take that forward. We're all in this together to make sure we have a BBC that is strong, original, doing creative uh, journalism um, and, and actually programmes of great originality. And that's what the public wants of us. By the way, that's also what people within the BBC want of us and the people who work for us want of us too. But you're not about to hand regulation over to Ofcom? Uh, no, we're not. And um, what uh, the, the chairman and myself will be talking about over the next few weeks is making the um, partnership between the trust uh, and the BBC work uh, much better. And I think, uh, yeah, there'll be a lot to do and talk about, no doubt, in the future. You've talked about owning up to mistakes quickly, but when one of your own radio pundits, Tam Cowan, uh, jokes about torching a football stadium mm. to cleanse it after mm. women football players mm. have been there, He's been suspended, not mm. dismissed. How is that owning up to mistakes quickly? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it was a wrong thing to do. Why has uh, he not we've, been dismissed we've, then? We've, because the, uh, uh, the people concerned have said that actually suspension is the appropriate um, uh, form of, of saying we got that wrong. And do I you would, think I that's would, appropriate? I would agree with that. I think suspension is. If it happens again, I, I suspect it's, uh, it, it'll be uh, goodbye. But one of your former colleagues, Alice Arnold, said that if, if, if that had been a, a racist joke he'd made, he would have been dismissed immediately. I think that's speculation and I can't really go into that. What I will say is this, um, we've got to own up to mistakes quickly, uh, but I also want a culture where people are not looking over their shoulders and people feel that they can take decisions and I will back them in decisions being taken. And that's, I think, an important culture point for the BBC. Tony Hall, thank you very much. My pleasure.